Hey, what's up? Today I decided we're going to mess with this lace front stuff. Um, my phone is going off. Today I decided we're gonna mess with this lace front stuff. Now, normally I would oh, okay. Uh hold on a second. Let me tune this turn this off. All right, normally I would handle something like this with the healing, the healing brush. Um, but since I have the remove tool, I'm going to use that. Now, if, if you don't have the remove tool and you are paying for a subscription of Photoshop, you can always go on the Photoshop website and download the Photoshop beta. It has the remove tool and it has everything in it that you already you already have, but it also has the remove tool. Now this is an old photo I took maybe three years ago. Um, I'm trying to remove this from down here. Let me see. Hide bar, uh, pin bar. No, I don't want to pin the bar. Let me see something. Okay, I need to get this bar. Let me just pull it on my bottom screen if it will let me. It does not want to come on. Let me move it from right here. Now I can remove it. I can move it anyway. I'm just going to remove move this right here. This comes with the beta. I ain't got time to explain this. But this is a photo I took about three years ago with the Sony A7R II, which I still have. I don't use, but I still have it. And as you can see, this over here is not nice. It's not nice. And we're just going to use the... Um, we're just going to use the remove tool to work with this. Now, imagine this is your client and this is the photo your client wants. This is one of the photos your client chose. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on clean up work. Just so I could clean this out of here, that's all. Okay, I'm just going to name that BG copy for no particular reason. Now, we're going to work over here and here. Let me get comfortable. All right. Now, if you're going to do any type of retouching, I'm sure I said this in the retouching videos, but if you're going to do any type of retouching, it is crucial you get you a Wacom tablet, some type of tablet. I have a no-name tablet that I use, and I have a Wacom tablet that I use, but I mostly use the no-name because it's just comfortable. It, yours don't even have to have a name. Well, you know every brand has a name, but it don't. Wacom is as a name brand. So buy you a tablet. I'm telling you, if you are trying to retouch photos with a mouse, everything will be complicated. Now, we're just going to act like this is a client, and we're just going to remove a couple of things. I'm showing you how the remove tool works. All right? Now, cl click up here. You could set it to, to do it and then click up there at the top, or you could set it to remove stuff as you do it. I set it to do it as I click... <laughs> Excuse me, as I click at the top. Remember, this is your client and your client. I'm not going to move everything over here because it's, it's really not necessary. This is your client and your client wants all of this stuff. Your client wants this photo, but you can't put the photo out there like this. You can't release it to the client because they're going to put it out there. And this is going to look bad on your business. Hold up. I see something right there. It might be here. I don't know. 
Okay, now, as you look over here at this stuff, this does not look, don't look good. It don't look good. And trust me, you're going to encounter some worse stuff. Well, you probably won't. But there are worse stuff out there than this. There's worse out there than this. And I, the reason I say you might encounter worse stuff than this, because I've seen stuff in the photography group. I haven't. Personally, I haven't shot anyone that was worse than this. But I've seen some, some stuff in the photography group where photographers are asking, how do I get rid of this? And it's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. But we're going we're gonna to come back over here. But let's see if we could get rid of this stuff. Oh, but anyway, this was taken with my Sony A7R2, like I said, which I still have today. I don't use it anymore, but I still have it. And I shot this with the Sigma 50mm 1.4 art lens. All my lenses are Sigma art lenses, and that is one of my favorite lenses, even though I haven't used it in a while. It's still one of my favorite. You know, when anybody that have a bunch of lens, lenses can tell you that. Sometimes this lens will become your favorite for a little while. Then another lens will come out because I got about 12 lenses. This will be your favorite for a while. Then that'll be your favorite. But the 50 millimeter is, is a favorite. Okay, now I'm, I'm just looking, trying to figure like how to tackle this. I'm trying to figure out how I'm, I'm trying to figure it out in front of y'all. If you want to be honest. Okay, so that did a see the remove tool, that did a good job, but I don't want to cross lines with it. And honestly, I'm just I'm just messing around. Really don't have to do this, but we do need to figure out how to do this and treat it as if we're giving it to a client. Which we are about to do. Now, I already got an idea of what I could do for this up here. I already got an idea for what I could do for this up here. All right, but let's take the remove tool. Now, we're still using the remove tool. And I'm going to come over here, and I don't know how this is going to actually work. I'm doing it for the first time in front of y'all. You know, part of me said, you know what? Won't you try it behind the scenes first? <laughs> and then do it in front of them. But I'm doing it in front of y'all. We're going to see how this works. Okay. That's not, let me look at that. That's not too bad. We got rid of all this stuff, but now we still got a task on our hand to get rid of. All right, see, what I want to do is get rid of this right here, and then somehow over here, somehow over here, we'll work on that. We're using the remove tool, and we might use other things along the way, but if you don't have the remove tool and you don't want to download the beta, um, use the healing brush. I'm using this because it's a new tool and it's, it's easy to use. It does a good job. All right, now look, that did a good job of getting rid of that. All right, but we still not done. We still not done. Now, I'm treating this as if I'm doing a paid client right now, and my paid client wants this, she chose this photo. My paid client chose this as one of her photos that she want edited. So I don't know if I should have done all that right now. Maybe should have just did one or two and see how that worked. But we always could back out of things. All right, so that created something funky right there. And what it did was extend that. But what we'll do is go over that.
come on. And I still don't like it. Now, if it mess up this time, we'll try something else. Because all I got to do is paint the hair color over that. Yeah, because I don't know why that's still trying to, it was still trying to extend that. All right, now for this, what I would want to do is uh, bring, paint some hair color there. But right now, let's go to skin. Let's go to skin. All right, now what we go, we get on, get ready, to try something together, and see if it works. All right, I'm gonna go to color down here. I'm gonna go, let's say, twenty percent. I'm gonna hit B for brush. All right, that's my brush right there. I'm gonna hit I to sample, to sample color. Now what's going on? It went. Hold on a second. I need you to sample. I like this over here. I like this out, this color over here. Let me hit B for brush. All right, and we're gonna brush that color in. Hold up, this is giving me something funky right now. Oh, we got black selected. We don't need black selected. Let me let me go back. I make mistakes too, y'all. That's why I'm not. I'm not even gonna edit this out. I want y'all to. I make mistakes. Let me see. Is it all out? No, it's not all out. Undo brush. Undo brush. Okay, there it go. So I'm gonna hit I to sample. Okay. Now I'ma see if okay I hit I to sample. And actually this could be a little stronger. It could be stronger. Let me see how strong can it go. Okay, what I might do is take this off color. We're going to find another thing to put it on. Lighten. Can I use lighten? That's too light. All right, so I'm going to go around 30. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of hardness on my brush. My brush is not hard. I'm gonna make my brush about, okay, 69% hardness. Now, the, the thing about having it hard is you can see the end of it right here. So I'm gonna sample down here Hold up, I don't, I don't really like how that look. I need that a little lighter. And we will, we will, we will rock you. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Let me, let me put it, make it a little bit harder. Okay, come over here. I'm not trying to make it look like she got a shape up. I'm not trying to make it that hard, but I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it a little more uniform. All right, so for over here, with the hair, all I really want to do is darken a little, darken a little, darken it so it won't be as light and you seeing it. 
as light. And really, let me look at that. I'm going to put um, another layer there. And I'm going to do soft light. I'm going to come down about 19. Okay. And even over here, too. Don't want this as light. I'm treating this. Remember, we treating this as if we're going to give this to a client. Remember, that's a lace front. We don't want the lace to be visible. And this is actually coming out looking more reddish than anything. Why? Okay, skin, hair. Let me go back to the remove tool. Let me go back to the remove tool. Because if I was to clean up, I would want this right here going, this portion right here going. And, and let me stop looking at this for a minute. Let me get this off. I ain't got to look at this for a minute. We're not skin retouching, but her skin really is not bad. Let me see how it's going to do right here. That's my main concern. And actually, we could probably fill this in with the remove tool. Okay. So let me go right here like this. Do we need a part? Come on. All right. I'm just I just want to remove the part altogether, y'all. If I'm giving this to a client, the client most likely wants the part. I want to get rid of the part. Now we're trying to make this look real. And so this right here is causing a little bit of funkiness too. So I want to get rid of that. We're using the remove tool to get rid of that. And this video is already becoming too long, longer than what I expected. Longer than what I intended. Now understand too that the remove tool is not perfect. It is not perfect. Now, like right now, I don't look. I don't like how that looks. So what I'm gonna do is uh, make a copy of all. Okay, and after I make the copy, I'm gonna go over here, grab this, then pull other hair in place. All right. Grab other hair and put it in place. All right. So, 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 so. Now, let me use the remove tool again. Because then I will get this right here. And see how, how it works with that. And then, and then that'll be it. That'll be it. That will be it. Let me see how it's going to do. Come on. Come on. I feel like we're stalling right now. We are stalling right now. All right. Now, if I was going to give this to a client, could I live with this? Yes. I could live with this, giving this to a client, a paying client. Moving that to. This really is a good lens. I still have it today. I shot with it three years ago. I still have the camera that I shot, I used to shoot this picture. Let me tell you something. When it comes to cameras, this, and this ain't got nothing to do with the photo, really, and removing lace fronts. But you don't necessarily, a lot of people might think you need the latest camera. You don't need, necessarily need the latest camera because... What a lot of co camera companies do is they keep giving you the same image quality. 
Now, I can understand you buying a camera because you want better image quality, but a lot of these cameras have the same image quality. All they might have upgraded in the camera was some features and uh, they might have updated autofocus. Now, if you want autofocus, I understand. Because if you do a wedding, you don't want to miss. I did a wedding and I missed shots. But the good thing about that is I take over 2,000 photos, so it don't matter. I miss shots. With, uh, matter of fact, with the, so the same camera I, I shot this girl with, I missed some shots. But most cameras are not, that's coming out, you are paying, you're paying two to three thousand dollars for extra features. And you already have the same sharpness in the camera you're using. But anyway, that's it for me. Could I live with this? I could. Could I give this to a client? I could. Now, I want to look at before and after. Let me do that real quick. I'm hitting Control G. And I'm going to put on here, Retouched. I always do this, every photo. Then I hit Finished, because that's the finish. I close that, and then I just go back and forth. Wow. Wow. I like it. I like it. All right, so y'all, I'm out. I hope y'all appreciated that. And I, I have more stuff I'm going to be doing, videos I'm going to be uploading. Appreciate me the same way I'm appreciating y'all. Because I did ask some of y'all to give me a review. And I don't, and I, I still to this day have only got a review from one person. All right, show me y'all appreciate, y'all appreciate me and my time. All right, with that being said, I'm out.